Hello everyone and welcome to another short video on our own devices. I'm Jean Messier and today we're having a look at yet another item that we briefly looked at in a previous grab bag video, but which I think deserves a little more attention. This is an instructograph. This is a machine designed to teach telegraphy students how to interpret and send Morse code. This was patented in August 1929 by one Otto Kirkpatrick, who subsequently formed the instructograph company based out of Chicago. So how this works is by reading a series of punched paper tapes, and each instructograph would come with a set of 12 standard tapes containing lessons of increasing difficulty. So it would start out with random strings of letters and numbers, and then strings of random words, and then finally full sentences and paragraphs. And you would listen to these tapes through a, an external buzzer or through headphones, and then either write out what you heard on a piece of paper or practice repeating the message with a separate telegraph key. So the early instructographs like this one used a spring-loaded clockwork motor identical to those used in phonographs and similar to the ones that we saw in my video on rotary dial phones where they have a centrifugally operated friction governor to keep the motor spinning at a constant rate. So in order to use this, you would wind up the motor using this crank on the side. You would then take your tapes and place them on these two spindles. And by the way, the tapes are actually double sided. So if you flip them upside down, you can listen to an entirely new message. And then once the tapes are in place and wound around this spindle, you would then move this lever here to start the motor turning and the tape running through the machine. And as the tape passes through this interrupter here, the interrupter will pass through the dots and dashes punched into the tape. And every time it does, it will contact the post complete the circuit and send a signal. And there's a number of different ways of wiring this up to produce an audible signal. The first way is to place batteries inside the case, which is mostly hollow, and wire this up to a railroad type sounder, just like this. And so you'll notice that this key and sounder combination has three posts. This also has three posts, and so you can wire these up directly but you have to close this switch on the telegraph key. So the key basically becomes useless, although you can still use it to practice repeating. And all this is going to do is power the sounder. You can also connect this to a mechanical buzzer that has its own oscillator circuit, or you can fit the instructograph with a tube oscillator like this one which consists of a vacuum tube and an audio transformer. And when wired up to batteries, to the instructograph, and to a set of headphones, this will produce an audible tone. Now, I won't go into how this oscillator works. I'm going to save that for a future video. So instead, we're going to wire up the instructograph and see it in action. Now, believe it or not, the Instructograph company stayed in business for some 50 years with its last model, the Model 500, ending production in 1983. And despite the fact that this model had solid state electronics for its oscillator and amplifier circuits, it still used a perforated paper tape for its storage medium. So a surprisingly long lived brand. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on another video or a look at yet more fascinating devices just like this one. Until then, I'm Jean Messier from Aron Devices. Have a great day.